Welcome to All Signs Tarot. This is a daily love reading for the sign of Scorpio for the 23rd of March 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Scorpios who need to hear these messages today. Who are the Scorpios who need to hear these messages, please? Show me the Scorpios, please. The Scorpios who need to hear these messages. Okay, everything wants to come out. Five of Swords. There's some kind of quarrel, some kind of argument, some kind of loss here. Possibly in love or over love or something like that. Somebody could be juggling, yeah. Nine of Swords. Somebody is very anxious, okay? Right, okay. So you might be juggling two people. You might want to choose from these two people who you want to be with. But you're afraid to break anyone's heart here. So you're very burdened. And you want to free yourself. Maybe you want to free yourself from both of these people. But with the Ace of Cups here, there's some kind of new love here that you feel. Maybe you feel you could be in a relationship with somebody, but you could feel a new love for somebody else. So now you're afraid that you're going to have to break somebody's heart um, in order to get your happiness here. Eight of Wands. Hmm. What's the Eight of Wands? You could feel very attracted to somebody. Who is the person you feel very attracted to here? Who is this person you're attracted to? Could be another Scorpio. Six of Cups is Scorpio. Could also be somebody from your past or a, a soulmate. So this could be a new love, but they're a soulmate of yours. Okay, so you could have met a soulmate. And you could be in another relationship. Or you were in another relationship where, when you met this soulmate. And my nose is starting to itch, which hasn't happened in the other readings. So this could be a significant message for somebody. I'm channeling something here. What am I channeling here? Holy Spirit, show me what... Should I talk about to this uh, Scorpio here who resonates with this reading? Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Um, there could be somebody you work with that you're fantasizing about or somebody at work fantasizes about you. You could have a lot of options, like I said, but you could have a stable relationship with somebody. Right, so um, what's with the Seven of Cups? Is there some kind of confusion here? Yes, there's some kind of confusion, absolutely. So what's the confusion all about? What's the confusion all about? Um, rejecting a new beginning. So somebody might feel rejected. Either you or another person feels rejected even though there's no rejection here. That's the confusion about. That's what the confusion is about. So, um, yeah, there's somebody new here in your life because I've got three aces. And there's some kind of, um, somebody feels rejected already. So you got off on the wrong foot with this person. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, so who is the one who is making this confusion? Who is confused? You or them? Are you the one who's confused? Two of cups. Both of you. Two of cups. So this is like your two of cups. This is the person you're meant to be with. But both of you are confused. Why are you confused though? Why are you confused? You might be confused whether this is the right person for you. Because like I said, either you rejected this person already or they rejected you. So, um, nine of cups. This is your wish fulfillment as they say. This is really the person you're meant to be with, I think. The person you're going to be happy with, I mean. Okay. King of Wands wanted to come out. Could be a Leo. Could be a fire sign. Eight. Okay, this talks about the comeback. Both of these talks about somebody coming back. Uh, Eight of Cups reversed. Six of Swords reversed. This is somebody you walked away from and you want them back. But like I said, it could be that that this might not be somebody that you've known for a long time. But you could have like instantly rejected this person. But uh, once you rejected them, you realize that they are indeed the person for you. So now you want them back. Or the other way, this person rejected you and now they want you back. So is there a comeback happening here? Yay or nay? Ugh, too much stuff. Somebody needs to make a decision here. But I think this is a yes with the King of Swords. Somebody's going to make the decision to talk. So, okay, there's lots of pentacles, ten of cups. Okay, so one person is going to go towards the other. And they're going to try to be patient and have like a conversation about growing. 
having some kind of growth in this situation. And it's going to lead to the Ten of Cups here. So again, the King of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. So the King of Swords, one of you might have a lot of air in their chart, or one of you is going to be the one who makes the move and talks about the situation. Either you or the other person, whoever has more air in their chart possibly, or whoever is more in a position of power in this situation, because there's some kind of power dynamic. Somebody was rejected and somebody did the rejecting, right? So... Somebody needs to take action now. Possibly the person who rejected the other person needs to take action and talk to them, right? And tell them that they do actually want something with them, right? Yeah, so... Some action needs to be taken here, either by you or the other person. Look, Free of Swords wants to come out. There could be a third party, right? Because I had these two looking at each other and the king of wands was on the bottom of the deck now we've got the queen of wands on the bottom of the deck sorry the queen of cups so there could be a third party here okay the third party might be causing conflict between you it could be maybe that's why the rejection happened because there is a third party okay either there is a third party or somebody tried to um convince somebody that this is not the right person ten of swords so somebody tried to kill this um connection off the yeah hmm so either this is somebody connected to one of you or this is just like a meddler somebody who doesn't want to see you happy or doesn't see want to see them happy who is this person who wants to cause uh, an ending so yeah this is some kind of counterpart of yours this is somebody you really want but somebody could have been meddling so that you cannot be together but I'm not sure exactly what they did in order to cause conflict. So we've got kin King of Pentacles and the Fool. This could be somebody's parent, actually, who could have done this. Or somebody's husband. But I've got, like, the King of Pentacles, like the father, and this is the son. The Fool is the son, the child. So this could be somebody's parent. That's what I'm getting. That wanted to cause an ending to this relationship. They, they didn't agree with the relationship. Yes, it's true. Yeah, it's somebody's parent who meddled here. What exactly did they do? What exactly did this parent do? Four of Pentacles. This parent is very smothering. This is like a... Seven of Swords. They did something sneaky. So this person is very smothering. They're very controlling. King of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles can be somebody very controlling. They're smothering their child. Maybe the Knight of Pentacles is the, the child, right? And the King of Pentacles is the father or the mother. And you're this person here. Or the other way around. If you're the child, you know that you have a controlling parent. Then, duh. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, the controlling parent did something sneaky behind your back. Seven of Swords here. What the hell did they do? What did they do behind this person's back? So whoever is the child, they did something. Five of Pentacles. They did something to separate you and this person. But I don't know what. Eight of Swords. What exactly did they do to separate you? What exactly did this person do? So we've got Five of Cups, Six of Wands. They could have talked some kind of crap publicly. They could have said something publicly. They could have humiliated their own kid publicly. Really? Ah, they could have said that they're going to shun the kid. Okay, they could have said this. That they're going to disown the kid. Okay, if they're going to be with you. Or they're going to disown you if you're going to be with this person. Whoa. Okay, so what? <laughs> King of Wands. Uh, I don't know what's with the King of Wands. What's the King of Wands? This person could be angry. I don't know. What's the King of Wands? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I think this parent could be the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. This person is angry. They have some kind of issues. Again, the ego. They have a big ego. King of Cups, what the hell is up with all the kings? Well, yeah, all the kings make the emperor, four of wands. I said the emperor, this is also Aries energy. So, yeah, this person has... 
they're controlling freak dad, I think. Because I'm getting a lot of masculine energy. This is somebody's father. Okay. <sighs> so what what's going on here? Eight of Swords. There's some kind of karma here. There's a blockage here. Somebody needs to be cut out. The blockage needs to be cut out. So this person needs to walk away from their father, basically. Whether this is you or the other person. Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person has some kind of trauma bond, I think, with their own parents. They, they have the abusive parents controlling and abusive. So they need to cut uh, them out because they've got karmic parents, okay? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, these parents, this, this could be somebody who has money. The parent could have money. And uh, kind of like they're threatening the child that they're going to disown them or something like that. That's what I'm getting. And the child needs to become independent. That's their, I guess that's their, uh, yeah, Four of Swords. They need to let it go. Ghost the parents and go away. Knight of Wands. Yeah, go away. Knight of Wands. Run. They need their freedom, okay? Sagittarius is all about freedom, so they need to free themselves from this, um, from the clutches of a, their own parent, okay? This person needs to grow up. They keep coming up as a knight. So if this is you, I'm sorry, but that's the message. And if this is the other person, then that's up to the other person to do. So what can you do? Maybe you need to talk to this person. I don't know, but... Um, that's all you can do, right? Talk. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Three of Wands. Somebody's working on something. Maybe you need to work something out with this person. I don't know exactly. This person could be trying to, um, like I said, they could be trying to separate themselves from this person and try to work on something. They could be working on something. Knight of Cups, Three of Wands. Somebody's manifesting also. Somebody could be manifesting here. This person might be manifesting you or you're manifesting this person. Is this person trying to manifest you to come towards them? Three of Cups, Reunion. Yeah, they want you back. They could be doing witchcraft actually to try to get you to come to them. Uh-oh. Five of one. Is this person doing something stupid? Oh my god, this is really complicated. So this person, I kept saying that they coming that they're coming up as a knight. I think you might be the king, and they're the knight. To be honest, I don't know. Um, and this person is doing a lot of stupid stuff on the side. Is this person trying to manifest you? Are they doing magic on you to go towards them or something? Three of Swords, Ten of Wands. This is like somebody feels burdened by heartbreak here. Somebody's very heartbroken. Is this the person that's heartbroken or are you? Two of Cups. Both of you feel heartbroken. Yes, both of you. Okay. So is this person doing some kind of magic? Knight of Wands. They could be, yeah, because the Knight of Wands... Yes, this is yes. This person is doing some kind of magic to bring you to them. Six of Swords reversed to bring you back. Come back to me, smell... Smell. Spell. <laughs> well, maybe they're using candles. I don't know how to make how to make a come back to me spell, but they could be using scented candles. That, that's why I keep saying smell. I don't know. <laughs> Six of Swords. Yeah, so there's a separation here and somebody's trying to, to bridge the gap. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so maybe somebody just needs to talk. Six of Pentacles. This person could try to manifest independence, financial independence too. Because like I said, they could be uh, dependent on their parent for money. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's dependent, financially dependent. Four of Swords, and they're trying to free themselves. They're trying to walk away from this. So they're trying to manifest something for themselves so they can be independent. So they can make their own decisions, right? 
five of cups but this person feels sad they feel the abandoned you know they feel like they're gonna end up homeless or something ten of pentacles yeah th like i said they were frightened to be disowned by daddy okay right so yeah the person needs to get the proper job i guess i don't know anything else you need to know about the situation ten of swords i think it's gonna end Hmm. So, uh, is this relationship gonna end or what? Five of Swords defeat. I think this uh, daddy already won the, the battle here, the war. Seven of Cups confusion. Yeah, the confusion still there. The conflict still there. People still feel left out in the cold. So, yeah, I think um, daddy won. The crazy dad here won. Great. And the King of Wands keeps coming up on the bottom of the deck. Um, conflict. Okay, so this person that you're dealing with, I think they are just focusing on trying to get some money to make their own money. But they're, they're yeah, this person is very anxious. This person feels isolated and anxious. And it looks like the separation, this person managed to separate you and them for good. Okay, so, King of Swords, it, this could be you needing to talk to this person, I don't know. Should you talk to this person about the situation? Should you talk to this, yes, you should, look, Ace of Cups. Eight, the Eight of Cups is in reverse, see, the, the cups, the two cups are in reverse here. So, um, yeah, you need to go back and talk to this person quickly. Maybe express your feelings to them. Because this will lead to some kind of clarity. Because there's a lot of confusion. This parent wants to cause a lot of confusion. So if you just went to this person and expressed your feelings, you know, if you just returned to them and told them something, that could lead to um, things moving forward in the situation in one way or another. Whether you uh, cut them off for good or you start a relationship, but at least it's going gonna, it's gonna to cut out the confusion, right? So that's what I'm getting here. Jesus, this is complicated. I hope this helps. Take care. Bye.